everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Nicole and on this channel we do product reviews and hauls and I'm gonna start incorporating a couple of lifestyle videos as well um, but today I want to welcome you all back thank you so much I know it's been a while since I've been up here um, the last in my last video I stated that I was going on vacation I did um, I'm trying to edit that video now to give you guys a glimpse of um, how vacation went for me. <laughs> and it's a story you do not want to miss. But today we're going to be talking about my uh, February empties. I don't even know if I want to call it February empties. We're going to talk about my empties. Um, and I'm not going to try to hold you guys too long. So let's get right into it, shall we? Um, let's start with the candles. This one was hot cocoa and cream. And you see how much I have left. This candle got on my nerves so bad. Look how it started. It was burning. You see how it made those pools? That annoyed me so much. But the throw in this candle was quite nice i was shocked because i don't usually go for like chocolate scents but this one wasn't that bad um uh, would i repurchase it probably not but um all in all i would give this candle a three and a half out of five and i'm only giving it that much again because the throw was pretty good i had it in my living room which is a fairly a, a large room and you could smell it coming off the kitchen so good candle just wasn't for me um the next candle i burned through was chocolate banana mudslide i actually burnt this in conjunction with the um hot cocoa and this one i don't know what's up with these candles but do you see that soot it started getting sooty at the end i guess i can't complain because look how far i burnt it down to and I, I trim my wick, you know, I do everything that I'm supposed to do. But for some reason, it still started getting sooty. This throw in this candle is a 10 out of 10. Um, but again, chocolate, you know, I try to give it a chance. And it's a no for me. I don't want no more candles that smell like chocolate except for the red velvet cupcake. I'm anxious to see what that smells like. I still have yet to get my hands on it. So if you have it in your area, holla at a sister. Leave a comment down below if you still have it in your area because I'm coming. The next one I burned is a, oh, a Goose Creek candle. So I was supposed to do a review on these candles. I got like four of these candles and I never got a chance to do the um, review this one is the carnival pralines so I just figure I'll just talk about them in my empties um this one let me see so the throw is definitely a 10 out of 10 however you see that see that's that blackness that soot it was such a sooty candle and I think it may be because of how close the wicks are inside but I was so scared it the flame got so high after burning like an hour and a half on this candle I had to put it out I was scared um every time but and it was so sooty I didn't like that it's not it doesn't have a clean burn but it smells delicious would I repurchase it I don't know. I really don't know because I'm torn because I like the way it smells, but I don't like the way it burns. So, I don't know. I have a few candles I burned through, apparently. I'll put that right there. Um, the next one was Sugar Snickerdoodle. Love, 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 love this candle. So, it's obvious that I'm going to repurchase this every time love this candle the next one is a um oh a hunting home so i actually got this candle from aldi 
don't know if you buy candles from Aldi, but I do. Such a good bargain. I think I paid like $2 for this candle. And um, usually that's the sale price. The regular price is like $3.99 or something like that for a single wick candle. Um, and this wasn't too bad. I burned this in conjunction with the Carnival Pralines from Goose Creek. Loved it. It had my house smelling like a whole cupcake. It was a vibe. Very warm and cozy. Love it. I would definitely repurchase. Um, and the next one, Strawberry Pound Cake. We all know about this one. Strawberry count, Pound Cake is it. It's, she's that girl. So I would definitely always repurchase this one. I went through this one fairly quickly. It was actually um, gifted to me for my birthday back in November. And I just um, burned it, you know, about a month ago. Loved it. That's it for my candles. Um, so I between my daughter and, I, daughter and I, we went through quite a few body creams. Um, Golden Ocean Pearl from Bath and Body Works. This is my daughter. My daughter went through this. Um, we went through Champagne Sprinkles. This is me. I went through Champagne Sprinkles. Would I repurchase? Maybe. Maybe. But... Yeah, so we went through that. I think But would I still repurchase it? No. And not because I didn't like it, but because I have so many other body creams to go through. So if I did repurchase it, it wouldn't be anytime soon if they brought it back. Because you know how um, Bath and Body Works do. They're so patty. Um, Pink Berry Clouds. This was one that I went through. I couldn't wait to get through this. It, it, it's like, I don't know. It's just, it has no real sense to me. It was given nothing. So, and let me see what the fragrance notes are in this. Um, strawberry, spun sugar. No. Marshmallow, fluff. Well, maybe a little vanilla marshmallowy smell. And, um... Yep, I didn't get that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. This ain't it. This ain't it, friends. Let me see something. Yeah. I wanted to like this so bad. I really did because it was the underdog. It was the underdog that year, and I was like, Pink Berry Cloud, yeah, no. It smells good. I'm going to give it a chance. Gave it a chance. Failed me. Um, Japanese Cherry Blossom. This is my daughter's favorite. So she went through this. Um, Sunshine Mimosa. I went through this. Would I repurchase it? Yeah, I would. It smells good. I mean, it's okay. Um, it's not really my... It's not a favorite of mine. But I would definitely repurchase it. Um, all of Bath and Body Body Creams to me are very hydrating, I must say. Um, but the scent on this didn't last very long. So that's the only con that I have with this scent. Otherwise, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Um, my daughter went through Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I have these, um fragrance mist to this and yeah I don't know she said it was okay um she didn't she wasn't raving about it so we'll see if we repurchase um she went through pink watermelon she absolutely loved this scent so I'm sure this will be a repurchase And that's it for the body lotion. Um, and we went through quite a bit of these um, hand soaps. This one is pomegranate and blackberry. This made me realize that 
I don't care for pomegranate. When I initially smelled this, I was like, mmm, this smells good. But that pomegranate note in the opening is loud and proud. Would I repurchase this? No, no. I don't know. It's something about pomegranate that I don't care for. It has to be a really nice blend on a pomegranate in order for me to, you know, really like pomegranate. Pomegranate is just so sweet and then tart at the same time. It's like... I don't know. You just have to have an acquired taste for it, I guess. And it's not for me. Um, the next one is Cucumber and Lily. This one is another one that I would not repurchase. This was not what I thought it was. You know what? I When I picked this up, I, I think that I thought it was the Cucumber Melon. I like Cucumber Melon. But this, my friends... I could not wait to finish using this. It, it smells like a doctor's office to me. You know that sterile, clean scent that's in the doctor's office? And this just wasn't for me. Um, um, strawberry pound cake. Always, always a repurchase. Um, pink pineapple sunrise. Love this. I love this. I will definitely get this again. Um, oh, it's so pretty. I love this so much. You can definitely smell the uh, sweet pink pineapple, the palm sugar, the um, sun-drenched nectar. You can smell all of that in here. Oh, this smells so good and so sweet, so fruity, candied fruit. This definitely a repurchase. We went through a Marigold Cane Sugar Body Wash. I'm very sad about this. This has become my favorite scent. One of my favorite scents. I have so many. But this right here, this was a shocker for me. I just got this on a humbug because I think the sale was like three for three back around. Um, I think it was a sad sale. Um, near the sad, the ending of the sad sale in June. Of last year yeah I'm very upset I did not get back up for this I, di I didn't think I was gonna like it so much but now I have a little bit of the fragrance mist left and I am trying to hold on to it until I can find it back up so again if you have this in your store I know it's a long shot but I'm asking if you have this in your store leave a comment down cuz I'm coming Do you guys know about these? The in-wash aroma booster and odor eliminator from Dollar Tree. From Dollar Tree, friends. So you know those scent boosters that you get from Downy? Oh, you can still smell it. Oh god, it smells so good. That you get from Downy and Arm and Hammer and somewhere else. I think it's Gain Scent Bees or something. Anyway. This is a dollar twenty-five from Dollar Tree. Do you see how big this is? Look at it compared to my head. A dollar twenty-five. Yeah, I'll go ahead and keep paying that sixteen ninety-nine in orders for them other ones. This worked just as well, and this is seventeen point five ounces. And let me tell you, baby, I don't really use it in my clothes. My daughter does, but I use it on my sheets and my towels. You know, things like that beautiful beautiful get it gotta try it um oh and i also had these shea butter infused lounge sock lounge socks these socks are the little fuzzy socks i wish i had them i think they're in the laundry um anyway they're the little fuzzy socks but they have those little um silicone non-skid stickies on the bottom these were supposed to moisturize, warmth, and comfort your feet. Like when you get out of the shower, um, you're not supposed to um, oil your feet. It's supposed to give you natural moisture. You know I couldn't put no socks on without moisturizing my feet. So I did. I put my own body oil. I make my own body oil. <laughs> I put it on my feet. 
Now, do I think that these actually moisturize my feet? No. Do I think that if I would have used them as directed that it may have changed things? No. I think this, these socks are a gimmick. I be, They were gifted to me, but I believe that they came from like Burlington Coat Factory or TJ Maxx, something like that. But anyway, um, would I repurchase these? Nope. Dove Cool Moisture Soap Bar. We use this on a regular basis. You're always going to see this in my empties. Always, always. <clears throat> we went through a couple of the um, soap bars from Bath & Body Works. The Vanilla Bean Noel. The lather on these shocked me. Shocked the heck out of me. Would I repurchase? Absolutely. As long as it's 75% off. Full price? Nope. Warm vanilla sugar. You don't get a, a good lather as well as the um, vanilla bean Noel. However, this is still a decent lather. Um, the Neither one of these have like a really high fragrance, which I like. I don't like for my soap to be competing with my other fragrances, my lotions and, you know, my body sprays or perfumes. So I'm okay with that. Would I repurchase this? Absolutely, at the um, sad sale. Um, my daughter went through a couple of um, CarMaxes. This is her favorite. She goes through at least a CarMax a month. I know it's two of them around here somewhere, but I just have the one. We went through Among the Clouds. Wallflower refill. This is so disappointing. This was so disappointing. And I'm very upset that um, Bath & Body Works made a big to-do about this fragrance. It is, once you plugged it in, you got that. Mmm, among the clouds, so fruity and happy, just as it says. And then after that, nada and this one we forgot to actually put the um the tag back on it but i know it's the eucalyptus and mint because i can still smell it would i repurchase absolutely and lastly we're getting down to the last count um this is another well i keep turning these the wrong way this is another wallflower refill this, this one is the um, pecan waffles, pumpkin pecan waffles. Would I repurchase? You know it. You know I'm a pumpkin girl. And that is it, my friends. Let me know what you have gone through this month. Um, and let me know what you're working on or what you're trying to get through. Please like, subscribe, and share. And please comment down to let me know what's going on in your empties are you operations used up or are you operations trying to make it empty let me know thanks friend i love you all